You got a fish. Oh, it's a pop. Oh, we go shrimp. There we go. Little guy. I was just about to start throwing the pop in a rig. <laughs> this is my first fish on the pier. He's a little guy. Which again, this is mainly what we've been getting into. But uh, pretty little fella. Right on my first pier fish ever. <laughs> it's a little dinker pop. All right, we're gonna get you back, dude. See ya. There he goes. On the go shrimp. Right on. Well, I got my very first ever pier fish. So that was fun, that was exciting, but uh, that was all I was able to manage this morning. I had some more footage, but my audio got jacked up on there, so I can only use the clip, the clip of the fish, which, you know, that works out, but that's all I caught. So I'm out here now about to pump some ghost shrimp for a couple of trips that I've got tomorrow. Courtney and her mom and Annalise are on our way out here. I'm gonna try to get Courtney to pump some ghost shrimp. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Here's one. Got him. Look at we see one. It's a little one. Oh wow. See it in a weird. It is weird. Creepy oh, looking thing. It is, it is creepy. It's like an alien. Look at an alien. Look, Annalise. You want to see him? Look. <gasps> Look at the ghost shrimp. You see it? <laughs> yeah, you're not so sure about that, huh? <laughs> kind of creepy. You want to touch it? <laughs> what she doing? Touch it again. I got the... <laughs> She's like grabbing it, pulling me backward. I do the other thing. Yeah. Do you want to try? <laughs> Courtney's going in. Get us some shrimp, honey. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right. So what do I do? Here, there might be something you can hook this to. Let's see if we can... Maybe hook it. Here we go. Or right. this. There you go. You got that. So... Just let, so, you can just let, you can just let that, that, yeah, and you can just kind of scoop in the sand, but you know, wherever you pump, just make sure you're looking for that shrimp so that you can scoop them up. Like this? I put it on the hole? Yeah, the yeah, hat? and I usually hold, like I don't usually hold that, I usually hold right here, put it in, and then immediately spit out. So you pull out, spit it out. Because as soon as you pull this out of the water, that sand's falling out. Everybody in my videos is always saying, why don't you pump into the net? Well, the problem is, as soon as you pull that out, like that sand's falling out. So the net would have to be below the surface to pump into the net, if that makes sense. Because as soon as you pull it out of the water, everything all falls out. So if you have to lift it out of the water to pump into the net, it doesn't work. And with the waves coming in, like that would work maybe in the bay, but with these waves coming in, like that's all moving around. I mean, it's not stayed in one place, so. Great idea, but it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, so just look for holes, like pin size holes. Yeah, you'll see. There's like little mounds. Okay. You're gonna see them, but you're gonna have to get. How far out do I have to go? Just a li little ways. Like there's, you're gonna see mounds as soon as you walk out there. But if you try to pump in too shallow of water for some reason, this doesn't pump enough sand. So you got to get in a little bit. You know, but just make sure you don't have water rushing in over your waders. We've already been fishing some this morning. We are moving locations uh, once again, trying to find an area where there might actually be some fish that want to actually eat something. Uh, yesterday I went to the pier and actually ran into David Thornton and we were staring at whiting most of the morning, putting ghost shrimp and live shrimp in front of them and uh, they were not eating at all. They were just sitting there. Fishing sucks right now. It can be a frustrating thing when you uh, are fishing every day, trying to take people, show them a good time, and uh, fish don't want to cooperate. You can't find fish. Even when you do find fish, you can sit there and look at them and they won't bite. We're, we're in that pattern right now. It's been like that all week, which isn't really that long of a time, but uh, it sure does feel like it when you're fishing every day, baits in the water, moving around, 
and you're not catching fish. So this is this is me venting that frustration. <laughs> it can be a frustrating thing. We're gonna keep pressing on. We're gonna grind it out. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to find some fish. So I've been trying to film this morning, but nothing's happening. I'm just about to talk to the camera, so I didn't want to think I was crazy. No, you're fine. I just didn't want to think I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have finally found some fish. Uh, whiting or biting pretty fast here. We've already popped off two immediately. I uh, had some ghost shrimp out there, but it was it was getting hit. You know, ghost shrimp's a lot more work, but they are hitting just the regular pieces of fresh dead shrimp. So we're gonna put it out there. Should be fairly quick. Should be able to get some fish. And what's interesting is this water is a lot dirtier than where we have been fishing. That seems to be the ticket. They evidently like the dirty water not right now, not the clean water. Here you go, here you go. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and reel. I think he's there. Yep. Yeah, they're definitely not hitting like real hard and fast. Kind of just nibbling at it. Decent fish, yeah. Yeah, that's a good keeper size. Oh, there he is, there he is. Nice. Yeah, he's probably about 11 inches. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we're on him now. <laughs> <laughs> is that a pompano? Yeah, it is a pompano. Oh, yeah. Check that out. <laughs> A little pompadour. So have y'all caught one yet? Nope. You're really the first pompadour? Okay, all right. <laughs> Heck yeah, he's a dinker. First little baby pompadour. Here you go, you wanna hold them? Just, they've got some uh, spines up at the top. They got five there and then two at the bottom, so just watch those. Get you a picture. I did put another piece of ghost shrimp I out there, so. That. See what happens. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Heck yeah. <laughs> Put a little piece of ghost shrimp out there and wham. Ghost shrimp is their, I mean, that's their most natural, yeah. you know, the, the regular shrimp, it's not, they're not around here, you know, you're not gonna find it in the surf like that, so. Yeah, I think he's swimming in at you. He looked like he had a little bit of weight to him. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah, he's not bad. He must have just been swimming. Yeah, he's coming right at you. There you go. Yeah, he's good. He's feisty. That's another good one. Yeah, he's fat. When the, when you can hear him slapping it. She wants her picture. You want a picture? Okay. Woo! All right, I get to catch a fish. This one feels pretty decent. You get away from me? No! Oh, there he goes. Another spot. Yeah, see, that's normally the size we catch right there. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good whiting. Yeah, this is the normal size I see you catch. Yeah, like that. That's mm -hmm. that's why hers. I was like, wow, that's a big that's one. Yeah, go, go ahead and reel in that slack. Just reel in the slack. There he is. Yeah, he's there. That ghost shrimp, man. They they're all over it. Oh, is that a pump? Yeah, it looks yeah. That's a pump. Yeah. That might be 12. He's gonna be close. I think that might be a keeper right there. 
Yeah. We're gonna measure him. Oh, look at uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be close. He is gonna be close. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, B12. Oh yeah, he's legal. Beautiful. Woo! Legal pompadour. <laughs> heck yeah. There we go. We got him, baby. Yeah, let's get a picture of that. Yeah, let's heck get a yeah. Of both of you. Yeah, I think he was swimming all the way in on you. Yeah. Uh huh. I know. I, I kept. I, I was watching you. I was like, I think he's just swimming in on you. Oh, did he? Okay, it's probably another pop. Maybe he's 12 inches. <laughs> yeah, that's a pop. Guy. Number four, yeah. Yeah, another little feller. So oh heck yeah. That's mostly what we've been catching. Like we just haven't been. Guys? Yeah, like we've been catching them, but they just been little. There you Well, we got the fish cleaned up for Paul and Michelle. They are on their way. Finally found some fish. That was great news. And now I'm going to meet Steve, and I think he's got a few people with him for our afternoon trip. So hopefully we can find some more fish. Whiting, hopefully Pompano. If I had to guess, I would probably say that this afternoon's bite might be a little bit better. It's starting to warm up. I had to change outfits because it was hot, so. We'll see if we can get some more fish, that'd be great. So I've met up with Stu, it's not Steve. I had it incorrect in my calendar. His name is Stu, he's trailing me. He's, he's in a, you can't see him, but he's in a car behind me. <laughs> him and his wife, I, I assume it's his wife, is with him and we are headed to the same spot that we ended up at the last trip. But let me know in the comments below if uh, you enjoy these kind of videos where I'm just filming a trip um, obviously I do a lot of that and I do a lot of trips but I don't normally film them I film some occasionally uh, but obviously I get really busy this time of year and I get really busy in the summertime and that's mostly what I'm doing so I didn't know how interesting that content would be but let me know if this is interesting content just seeing what we're catching and meeting some of the people that, that some of you guys you know these are you guys are coming and fishing with me. Probably gonna need a reel a little faster. A little faster. You wanna keep up with that fish. You wanna keep pressure on that hook. You don't wanna let them get slack in that line. There you go. Wow. A little widening. Nice. All right, we got one over here, right here, right here. That rod too, yeah, go ahead. There you go. Yes. Yeah, keep this rod tip up. Okay, all right, widening, uh, I keep them 10 inches and up. So that's kind okay. of my self, there you go, yep, there's another fish. That was quick. There you go. That's a whiting. Whiting? Yeah. This is our one of our targets here. Oh, 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 they're crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. What size do those have to be? There, there's no regulations, but uh, I, I regulate them like myself and right. 10 inch, inches and up. So I, he's probably right at her. He might be nine, but let's see. Yeah, he's nine and a half. So that other one was 10, but like we'll throw this one back. Well, there you go. Hey, we okay. we're catching fish. That's that's, that's what's important. <laughs> that wind is whipping. I don't know how good this mic's gonna do in that wind. It might be really bad. I'm not sure. Right on. Hey, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a good fish. There you go. It's like a little guy over there. Yeah, real pretty. They got a lot of pretty colors on them. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Wow. They're gloves. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. You don't have to touch them. I, I got it. I don't. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's that strain. No, you're fine. He's, yeah, he's a little small. He might be 10. Nice. 
nine and a half. Nine and a half again, so we're, we're going back. Oh, that's a permit. Really? Yeah, we just called a permit. I didn't even have the camera rolling. I was thinking it was gonna be another whiting, but yeah, that's a permit. Beautiful. Wow. You see nice. that? Yeah. Isn't that cool? What's it called? Wow. A permit. permit. I think this is the first one I've had on my on my YouTube channel, so. Wow, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. They're really cool. Beautiful. Yeah, they're 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 they fight hard. I haven't yeah. seen one in a while. We were catching a lot like in December. But the if if, if we catch a pompano, which hopefully we will, you'll notice that the uh, the dorsal fins aren't nearly as long. And this okay. one doesn't have much on it, but you see that little bit of orange yeah. right yeah. there? Pompano have a yellow color to them. Oh, okay. Their dorsal fins are different. Their nose is a little more blunt on the on the permit and right. their and their tail is a little more forked. Than a, than a pompano, oh. but a lot of people confuse these with with I pompano. But I'm, we're not. All right, I think that's the first permit on the channel. We've been catching some this year. That's awesome. See, you, dude. <laughs> oh man, so cool. Right on. Look like you had a little bit of weight to them. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> He's going nuts. That's a good one right there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, he's probably about 12 inches. Yeah, they get they get feisty when they get a little bit bigger. Yeah, nice. This is what I like to see. Doubled up, fish, fish. Let's see what we got. My GoPro, my GoPro is about to die. Oh, we lost that one. Another good one. Yeah, he'll keep. Beautiful. I'm getting them good. Not quite as big as the last one, but he's ten. We we got something that's fighting a little bit. A little different than a whiting, huh? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's a pompano coming in. Look at there, or another permit. Heck yeah, look at that. That's our second permit, that thing was going nuts. That's awesome. So cool. These, uh, we don't catch real big ones, but like for the, for this area, these are not bad ones. Cause we, they just don't get real big around here. They get, Permit get huge. Like uh, down in South Florida, you can catch them like 20, 30 pounds. Check out this whiting. We're gonna measure them, but uh, my GoPro died, but this guy is a hoss. Nice. <laughs> it's like a redfish. Let's see, he is 15 inches. That is a stud whiting right there. Beautiful fish fought like crazy wish my GoPro was still working so that uh, I could show could have shown you guys we ended this week on a high note caught a lot of fish today on both trips and actually caught the most fish that second trip the bite was better uh, as I anticipated that afternoon we caught I mean we could not keep baits in the water they were doubled up basically the whole time we were out there so that was awesome it was really cool to see caught a lot of whiting Caught those two permit, caught some nice whiting. Uh, I think I showed you a 15 incher while we were out there after my GoPro died. But if this video doesn't give you a real good depiction of how frustrating and how many peaks and valleys there are in fishing, especially when you're guiding, I don't know what else would. <laughs> this uh, this is definitely uh, a good story of, of how these days go sometimes, especially surf fishing when you're not in a boat, when you're not able to move around as much. It's difficult sometimes to find and locate hungry fish, especially after cold fronts. We were finally getting away from that cold front in this video today, and we're able to actually locate and get some fish, which hopefully that trend will continue most of the spring, other than when we get these cold fronts or weird things that cause the fish to shut down. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to comment below. Let me know if you enjoy me filming trips. I don't know how entertaining it may be for you, but just let me know. And as always, you stay bummy.